You're listening to the Electronic Media Collective Podcast Network. Yeah, it's a mouthful. For more great shows like the one you're about to enjoy, visit electronicmediacollective.com. And now, our feature presentation. Howdy do, buckaroos, and welcome to Comics with My Kids podcast, the official podcast for the corner, Comics Cornerbox.blogspot.com. I am your host with the most, the man with the plan, the dad to the talent, Mr. Matthew D. And with me today is... Logan D. All right, well, tonight's episode, we really don't have a book review. Uh, we've been kind of busy, you know, school started back up, the holiday was here, we had all this stuff going on that we didn't get a chance to read anything for tonight's episode and i didn't want to put an episode out i didn't want to have a, a a week without an episode so i thought logan and i can kind of spitball kind of come up with uh you know a theme for tonight's episode <laughs> try that again <laughs> yeah that's what you say when you, when you try to use some kind of um simile when you're recording with a young kid <laughs> so tonight i figured i'd go ahead and open it up with some questions for you logan so out of all the books that you read, who's your favorite character that you read in this on our summer um, reading program? I like Mango from Investigators. Nice, yes, I like Mango too. He's kind of a fun character. Why don't you tell me a little bit about, about Mango? Mango is an investigator, and um, he loves doing jokes and puns. And puns. Yep, and that's uh. That was uh, what the last episode we did before the uh, the end of the season, and then we also had uh, another investigators book in the in the series. Did you know there's a new investigators book coming out? I want to say in November. I thought it already came out. Uh, no, you know what? It comes out this sub- in this sub- September. Now that I think about it. No, October. I'm sorry, man. I get my my months all confused. Yeah, it's coming out in October. Um, because John Patrick Green, I know, is doing a book tour, and he's actually going to be in Chicagoland area on I want to say October 13th. So, if anybody in our listeners who are in the Chicagoland area, check out John Patrick Green's um. Uh, Facebook page and Twitter page or X page, whatever they call it now, and he's got a post up there where he's going to be on his book tour. If anyone's interested, what's X? X is what Twitter was or Twitter became. Sorry. Oh. So Logan, what uh, what interesting things have you read this week? Have, have you done any any kind of reading whatsoever? Uh, recently I went in my. Bedroom just went through some old books and I found Captain Underpants book. Just a random one. I think it's like it's a part one of two and I don't know where the rest of my Captain Underpants went to. Gotcha. So between Captain Underpants, Dogman, and Cat Kid Comic Club, which book do you prefer? Um I actually like Captain Underpants because they have a lot more funny things. Like what? So, there's these two pranksters, George and Harold, and for their demonstration, they did these things called squishies. They did two ketchup packets, fold them in half, you put them on the toilet underneath the bumpy things on the toilet seat, so when somebody sits down on it, it'll squirt. Well, that's kind of a, a, a nasty prank. I'd hate to have to sit, when I sit down, get ketchup all over my pants. No, it doesn't go on your pants, it goes in your underwear. Even worse. <laughs> Mr. I've got a banana in my mouth as I'm podcasting. Sorry, we didn't, I didn't eat for you. I don't want cramp and hurry. Gotcha. So, uh, let's see. What is your favorite superhero? Are we talking like Marvel, DC? Uh, what are we talking about? Like Any superhero. Out of, out of all of the comic book and book um, universes, who is your favorite superhero? I've got to say uh, the Hulk. My favorite version of him is from, I think it was Planet Hulk, where he was all armored up, and he went to the planet where he could get hurt. Sakar. Yeah. Sakar. So, what other cool things do you like about the Hulk? 
Well, I like how he's got super strength and he's basically unkillable. I think the word you're looking for is indestructible. Immortal. Oh yeah, that's right. Because there is there is a comic book series called The Immortal Hulk. It, there is. Yeah. I can't say I've read it. Never heard of it. Well, we'll have to pick that up for a future episode. Watch hey, them. speaking of the Hulk, so we had stopped by the comic shop a couple weeks ago. And you picked up a new com a uh, new Hulk comic book. Do you remember what that was called? Yeah, the Incredible Hulk. And he had hair. What do you mean he had hair? I mean, uh, long hair, like dripping down the sides of his head. Oh, okay. Can you tell us a little bit about the book? Your about the story itself. Um. So, it's about Hulk is one. There's like these people who are kind of like Hulk, and they're all dead. But, uh, they want Hulk to come and join them because they're having some kind of, like, meeting or something. I don't know. I've only read book, a bit of book one. I didn't finish it. They're having a meeting. So is it, like, um, a PTA meeting full of Hulks? They're not exactly Hulks. They're, all, they're like zombies. Oh, so it's like monsters? So is the book more like a horror book than it is, like, a superhero book? It's a little bit of both because, uh, this one girl got... A bit involved with zombies, and so the Hulk's trying to help her out a bit. I see. Now, does the Hulk, like, is this like a, is he out on his own adventures, or is he, like, teaming up with anybody? Uh, what's what, what's the Hulk at, like, like right now in, in his life in this book? So, uh, he's, like, the Hulk doesn't like people, so he tries to stay away from people, and when he is the Hulk, he kind of, like, Hangs out in the woods, almost. Okay, so he's more like the loner type of storyline. Yeah. That sounds pretty cool. So, uh, any other cool books that you've read so far that you'd like to talk about or share? Um, well, I've been reading this one series, uh, The Predator. It's a very good book series. I, well, it's a comic book series. I'd like to podcast on that, hopefully. Okay, we can find room for it. Um, we'll have to put up some some warnings though, because it's definitely for much older readers like te- teens. Not necessarily for anyone who's reading Dogman should read Predator. It's definitely a a uh, much older book. Quite gory. Quite gory. Yeah. A lot of green, purple, and red blood in there. Yep. So. uh... Is there any other superheroes or any characters that you want to talk about that you'd like to read about? Um, I don't have any, like, particular favorite characters besides, like, the Hulk, the Flash, and the Wolverine. Um, uh, I just like reading series that involve multiple heroes or solo heroes and things like that. Alrighty, well, let's see. Um... Are there any questions you have for me? Like, anything you want to know more about that we could read in the future? What's your favorite superhero? Ooh, that's kind of hard to... Wolverine. <laughs> yep, Wolverine is my favorite superhero. Um, and I think the whole reason why I like him so much is because he's... Like the Hulk, he's one of those guys that wants to be left alone, but he always gets pulled in these different directions and having to help people out. He has, like, this this moral compass that's really good and uh yeah he's just a tough as nails character that that's fun to read and he's almost immortal almost well i don't know with that healing factor i think he can live a very 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 long time he almost died in one of the wolverine man- movies though because the bad guy had cut his um claws off and then he had stuck these, like, drills into him and started drilling through his bones and taking his healing factor away. So, spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen the movie The Wolverine from 2013, I think it is. Um, it's a really long time ago. A lot of people probably have seen it. Well, really long time ago. is It's ten years. Ten years is not a really long time ago in my book. Yeah, well, that's almost as old as I am. Yeah. All right, well, let's see. Is there any other things that we, we want us to talk about on this episode? Mm. 
What's your favorite, like, DC superhero? Uh, right now I'm going to say Batman. Batman tends to be my default when it comes to DC superheroes. Because not only is he, you know, um, you know, he's a detective, he knows martial arts, he, uh, kind of has a, uh, a drive to, to solve crimes and put bad guys away. Again, another character that has a good moral compass. Uh, and he's smart. And he's got billions of dollars. His superpower is that he has a lot of money. Yes. Hey, look, gas is free. Our sign must be broken. <laughs> it says zero dollars. Yep. All right, so uh, let's let's pivot and head over to comic book movies. Do you see any cool comic book movies this year? Uh, I saw a bit of the new Flash. I didn't really watch all of it. Well, why not? Because I wasn't really interested in it at the time. Gotcha. What did you think of the, what you did see, though? I thought it was pretty cool. Although I didn't like the fact of how he, like, lost his... You know what? I forget I said that. Scratch it. Scratch it. <laughs> Spoilers. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. If you haven't seen the movie, pause here and then come back and listen to the episode. All right, Logan. You can go ahead and tell them what you thought. I did not like it how the... F- Flash had lost his powers. How did he lose his powers? So, he had gone back in time trying to bring his mother back from the dead. And because, like, what she had died for, he had tried to prevent. So, when he had done that, the himself of the time wasn't at the place where he got his powers, so he had got that guy there. But then the guy wouldn't cooperate because he had to get struck by lightning. And so the lightning struck through the Flash from the future, which took away his powers and gave it to the other guy who got hit by the lightning. So what <laughs> What other things were was uh, was neat about the Flash movie that you saw? That uh, in the alternate universe where his mom didn't die, uh, Batman was old, and all the time was, like, messed up. Yeah, it was an interesting theory with time travel where... You know, we don't look. You don't look at time linear, linearly, like in a straight line. It's more like a spaghetti noodle, all sw- swirly and knotted up. Mm, spaghetti. So, would you want to go back and watch the Flash again? Yes. Cool. So, uh, what other cartoon-based action superhero stuff did you watch? Uh, I haven't been watching too many superheroes. I've been watching Pinky and the Brain. Well, I was to say, didn't you get on a kick with uh, Teen Titans Go? Oh, yeah. That, although, Mom said that I should stop watching that. Oh, yeah? I can't remember why. Uh. Sorry, I sat there for a moment because we drove past a police officer and I didn't want him seeing me holding the phone like that. <laughs> Why? Because you're not supposed to be talking on your phone unless it's hands-free. So, I think we're okay, though. Well, we're getting close to our uh, destination, so we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, is there any last things you want to say about uh, any of your summer reading promotion or any of the reading or anything future looking forward to reading in the next couple of weeks? Um, uh, well, what I'm hoping is that our special guest will be coming again. Yep, we're going to work on that, and I'm also working on another interview that I'm going to keep quiet until we know for sure we can get that person. Um, but yeah. Well, folks, that's all we have for tonight. Um, thank you for listening. I'm Matt D. And I'm Logan D. If you've enjoyed this podcast, feel free to like us or, uh, Leave us a review at Apple Podcast, Podchaser. Uh, follow us on Facebook at Comics with My Kids. Check out our Twitter feed or our X feed over at Comics with Kids. And uh, what do we also do? We normally say, Logan. Uh, didn't we have like Stitcher? No, Stitcher doesn't exist anymore. They took that off. What? Yeah, for some odd reason, they're just uh, they are no longer competing. So. 
but they're no longer a service that uh, is available. Well, folks, thank you and good night. Good night, or morning, or afternoon. Oh,